it's a business occasion <laughs> or a family gathering or maybe a special event, there's some quick tips that can help you brush up on your manners, even if it's a first date. Sure, our next guest is here to make sure we're not leaving a bad impression. Uh, so we need the right etiquette tools. So joining us here is Karen Thomas. She is an etiquette expert, and we're happy to have you back on the show. Hi, how are you? Terrific. Uh, so can you weigh in on the uh, first date question? Absolutely. It's the invitee. So whoever does the inviting should pay. However, wow. I tend to agree with both of you. Mm -hmm. If the gentleman prefers to pay, then he should. Yeah. That will make a good impression. So I'll always be that? paying. That's that's for the bottom line. The that's the that's I'll, I'll the be the guy. Bring the wallet. Yeah, um, yeah. Absolutely. So, what type of etiquette mistakes do you see? Usually, um, the biggest one that I see really is tipping. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, people. That's a big question that people ask me. You know, how much to tip? Um, what happens if we have bad service? Do we have to tip? And you know, one of the main things is this. You have to realize in the restaurant industry. That they depend upon right. that tip. So what I suggest to people is always tip. Okay. Now, if you have bad service, what I would suggest is talk to the manager. You'll get something done more um, if you talk to the manager rather than just punishing, you know, the wait staff because it might not be their fault. It might be a kitchen mm -hmm. error or something there. So that's the biggest one is the tipping. And do you stick with twenty percent? I always do twenty percent and above. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's exceptional, I'll go above that. But fifteen to twenty percent, the norm. Okay. Very Absolutely. Good. How about when you're at a party and you walk in and you're shaking hands, should you be standing up to shake people's hands? Or? Absolutely. And this is one that people get wrong. Whether it, I am introducing myself to you or vice versa, the woman should always stand. And way, way back when Emily Post, 1930s, they said that the gentleman should stand for the woman. It should be both. So it is gender neutral. Hmm. So both should stand when, when being greeted. And, and who should you address first? Say I, I walk in, are you supposed to greet the, the eldest person first or the youngest person? What you want to do is you want to introduce to that person. So in this case, I am the elder, okay? So you would introduce Teresa to me. You, oh. So you're bringing the younger so to Teresa. me. Yes, yes, yes and hello. here's the nice to meet you. So yes, oh, thank nice, you, thank to, meet you. You. nice you. to meet you. So you present, again, now if you know, I mean if it's obvious, okay, you wouldn't ask somebody, gee, how old are you? So I'm going to present her to you. I wouldn't ask how old. Right. Do you you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to yeah, be careful. Yeah, it could get a little yucky. Get a little sticky. Wanna, yeah. yeah, yeah so. so I have some questions when it comes to a, a planning a party, throwing a party. Yes. RSVPA. Oh. How important is that? Because I got to tell you, this is my biggest Utmost. pet peeve when people don't respond and, and respond quickly. I know there's always a date at the bottom. Why yes. can't you just respond when you get the invite? <laughs> that is exactly right what back. you you're should do. You're not coming. Exactly. You and know already. <laughs> this is the rule. I, when you get the invitation, you should look at it right away and respond right away because mm -hmm. you know what you're going to do with that? You're going to put it down. You're going to put it on your desk. You're going to do it. And next thing you know, the party's tomorrow yeah. and someone's calling you. And that is rude and I to have you the host. You should be embarrassed if someone's calling and you. And you should be. You should do it immediately. Upon receipt of the invitation, I tell people, call right away mm -hmm. and say yay or nay. Now, yeah. you show up to the party. Should you be giving gifts? Say you're invited to a co-worker's Ooh, son's. Yes. Yeah, but what if you barely know the guy? Why, why do you got to? You always uh, have to bring a bottle of wine or something. something. You huh? can't come empty-handed if you're something going to someone. Something neutral. Is that rude, though, if, if you bring a bottle of wine? Because then you're saying, hey, your wine isn't good enough. No, so they don't have to serve. No? no, exactly. And that is one of the things. When you bring a gift, <laughs> they don't have to use it right then and there. Now, the only exception is, is if you brought, say, Aunt Emma's salad, and you brought no, it to the, Emma's to the, to the, nobody hers. wants Aunt Emma's <laughs> salad, they prefer so the wine. Just, but if you bring that, I mean, she, the host or hostess would feel obligated to put that out, but if you bring a gift such as a, a picture frame, some wine or something, they can take that and put that aside, and it's okay. It's okay to put it aside and use it in another time. Okay. All right, one more question for you. Say sure. you are invited to a party, you yes. can't make it to the party, yes. do you send a gift anyway? Like you're talking about a shower, you're talking about a wedding. Absolutely, and this is, this is is also good for coming up with graduation season mm -hmm. that we're getting into. If you receive an announcement, mm -hmm. you are not obligated to send a gift. If you're getting an announcement, a baby announcement, saying, mm -hmm. you know, so and so was born, you don't have to send a gift. However, if you receive an invitation, a gift is expected. Now, you mm -hmm. can, if you're not attending, you can go with something a little less, right. so a little less on the, you know, costly side, but if you are attending, you should go with a gift always. There you go. All I right. So I don't know how you guys don't go broke going to all these parties, giving <laughs> gifts. Well, you're yeah. picking up the tab for everybody. That's yeah, right. I'm picking up the tab you know, on Nancy and so. buying stuff for parties. All right, so, <laughs> so you have this set up here for, for dining rooms, and you're yes. going to put Teresa and I to the test. Yes, we I am. We should set this up the proper way. So. You need to set it up the proper way, and I threw mm -hmm. in a you few extras. So there's a few do. things that are not on our, I'm going to turn this this way. Okay. Yeah, so so I, I think this should be like back over here, right, because you have tea last. 
Um, I don't know if we need this. I think we will go like this. Uh, actually, let's go like this. I don't know. I threw in some some different things. I don't so know what that is, <laughs> but I think the water Put goblet would go here. Oh, it's a goblet. White wine, red. Would this be our champagne? Flute? Yes. Oh my gosh. How many drinks are you having at this party? <laughs> this kind of party is this? This is a formal, formal Jeez. affair. Yeah, I don't okay. know where to put the teacup, though. Okay. And he's. Oh, okay. good oh, right. Oh, oh, there we go. Was that, that was the a missing good one. one. There we it? go. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, the only thing you're missing is where they go, because they do go they somewhere. They do go somewhere. All right, so, so maybe we have two oh, salads. Here, here, here. No. No? No. Don't you put a little spoon in the teacup and, like, spin the sugar? Well, it's, not, it's too big for a teacup. It might be a dessert. It might be for dessert. A dessert spoon? Could what be. What do you think? Could be. All right. What do you, uh, that, how'd we do? That, okay. That I think you did excellent. Thank the you. only <laughs> thing that I would change. <laughs> yes, you did. The napkin can go anywhere when you're doing this. It can go here. Sometimes it's there. The bowl was the teaser. Where does it go? Absolutely, you can place it on the charger right there. Excellent. <laughs> the only party. See, party you guys can party. invite me back. Okay, so, but what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go with our white wine, okay, is gonna go here, and you'll notice that it's a smaller bulbed glass, so that's your white wine. This is your water goblet. That's gonna go out here. Here's your red, here's your champagne, and if we're looking at our, I'll let you guys look at our, our little thing here. So you've got white, Okay, then you've got red, then you've got champagne, then you've got water. Now, this is normally not placed at the place setting, but you could put it over here. And I'll tell you why. When you're looking at things, you want to look at the whole setting. You are going to remember these three letters, B, M, W, mm -hmm. just like the car. Mm -hmm. Bread on the left, meal, water. Ah. So oh, you've got B M W. That is a so great tip. All of your drinks on this side, your bread over on this side, and, and here you go. That's and you fantastic. did excellent. Now, always, you want to start from the outside in. So here, if you're going to look at this here, these are our dessert um, utensils. So here you have a salad fork. Then you have your main fork, which is for your dinner. You have your um, knife that will be cutting with. This is your spoon if you need to use it. You have your bread plate over here mm -hmm. with a bread um, spreader. Then you have your napkin. You have all of your glassware. And this is usually brought out at the end. So that is a perfect table setting. have a big setting. table wow. so everybody can fit, right? Absolutely. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much. In. And your website, ctetiquette.com? It is. Yes. Thank you for having Very me. Good, Karen. Thank you so much. We're, we might